Alrighty, let's get started. So you need to drag and drop all your data into a single folder so that way you can access it. Now, unfortunately, I don't know how to zip it up, so you have to do this manually. So it's kind of tedious. As you can see here, this is a screen recording. It, when you uh, check on this, it'll automatically save it onto your phone, and then you have to manually send it to your computer. Unfortunately, I don't know how to send it. There's no API calls for that. Now, this is the body. My room is horrible to track in, so it's extremely impressive that it's tracking inside my busy room. There's a lot of points that it could mess up in. So it, it is a little jumpy. And if you want better, cleaner data, it would be, you know, not as busy environment or background. And as you can see, it's pretty solid. So it's re also really handy to send yourself the, the screen recordings so that way you can make sure that it's actually doing what it's supposed to do. Otherwise, it's kind of just guessing. So I'm opening up the blend file. Um, I'm deleting the cube and I'm going to show you how to install the add-on. As you can see here, I already zipped it, so it's iPhone capture. I saved the old one just in case if someone needs it. So go to preferences. You have to install it manually. And since this is a GitHub and I'm going to be, you know, have it uh, available for everyone, I need to go to my documents, GitHub, and Blender motion capture is the switch file, the Xcode file of the actual app itself. You can look at it if you want. So iPhone motion capture, make sure you hit the zip, otherwise it won't install it properly, and then you have to click on it. When I create a new add-on, what you're gonna have to do is to re completely remove it from your blend file and then reinstall it again. As you can see, now it's onto the side. So go ahead and uh, find the directory of your capture folder. And the reason why I have this set up is so that way you just select the folder and then everything's inside the folder so that way the app can just grab it. Otherwise, it's really tedious to drag and drop the specific files. So we're going, oh, that's the start frame. And so that way you can add on multiple motion captures if you want to, to make it you know, flexible. So whatever you set the start frame, that's where the uh, start will be. Just created the bones. As you can see, it's just a pile of bones. The reason being is there's no default position Apple provided of the joints. And it's the position, there's no rotation. So it gets really complicated to try to transfer that into a body. As you can see, it's the joint positions are actually really good but it's really hard to transfer that over into a rig. So I just applied the sound, and as you can see, it automatically applied the sound, which makes it really easy because then, you know, you have to manually do it, and also applies the offset too. Now, this is Make Human. It's free. There's tons of tutorials on it. Make sure that the rig is for game. I'm just going through that, you know, you have to have all the topologies inside already done or else you know it won't work so I'm going to hit export make sure it's the FBX file again make sure that it's the game rig for this version so go ahead and export it I'm going to call it human yeah I'm just going to call it human and then you import it as the FBX file and now I have to find it oh that's right I have it in my github so I'm going to go to blender iPhone, no. Oh, that's right. I, I'm having this as the tutorial. Here we go. Sorry about that. And as you can see, we have our character and then we have our bone. And so now what we're going to do is save it. And I'm going to save this in the tutorial so that way everyone else can access it. So you can see, you know, the process of it, how it looks, um, and you should always save it. And I, I probably should have saved it earlier. So it's saved, and now I need to apply the Make Human rig to the motion capture rig. As you can see here, I did kind of a hack, and it, you can kind of see it. It's tracking the points. So it, I tried to do the rotation, that did not work. IK. 
uh, would probably be the better solution but I was just trying to do this under an hour so I am like skipping ahead on some of the stuff but the full video was an hour just to give you a reference now for creating the the mesh and also so you hit check generate and what it'll do is it'll create all the shape keys you have to make sure you create manually the basis or else it won't work and then you create the motion capture uh, rig now I'm gonna go really fast into this uh, to not waste you guys time but you have to manually set up the shape keys for every single one and it's actually pretty fast the hardest one to do is the jaw the jaw is a complete pain to do um, now if you're having difficulty of like what these shapes names I'm gonna provide in the link Apple does have really a nice um, page on what this is what it should look like and also the position of it as you can see there's an actual image of it and then you have to apply all of it so I'm just doing all the shape keys and as you can see I have the rig so now we apply all the motion data at uh, the face motion data to the rig and the rig is set up so that way you can manually offset it if needed so as you can see that's it we did it 